Well, hello, my friends. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Planet Crafter. You know the game where we terraform Mars by creating a ton of different high-tech tools? Well, you guys told me about a secret cave full of uranium in the last video, so I'm going to go to that cave, steal all the radioactive materials without turning into a Ninja Turtle, and then use that uranium to build a super-powered nuclear reactor. We're also going to use all of that new power to build some big machines to grow lots of plants to terraform Mars even better. And the more plants that we have, the more plants we can also eat and and speaking of eating, I'd like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. And if for some reason you haven't heard of HelloFresh before, it's a company that I've been using personally for a few years now to deliver fresh meals to my home so I can cook them on my own time. Today we're going to be cooking up some buffalo spiced crispy chicken with mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. With HelloFresh, the recipes are super easy to follow and all of the ingredients are pre-measured to help cut down on the prep time, also makes cleanup a lot easier, and we don't need to waste money buying ingredients that I'll only use once. All HelloFresh recipes come pre portion to make sure that I have the right amount of food for each recipe and the meals are about 72% cheaper than eating at a restaurant. All of the food is quite delicious and there's a ton of different options to try from recipes from all over the world and all of the food comes from the farm to your door in under a week. That means it's super fresh and super good tasting. And there's also options for adding, swapping, or upgrading proteins each week and adding proteins to vegetable dishes for more flexibility. HelloFresh is also the first carbon neutral meal kit company. That means nearly all of the packaging is recyclable and with all of the food being pre-portioned, HelloFresh cuts down on wasted food by about 25% compared to grocery shopping, and it helps you eat more sustainably. So if you'd like to get some delicious meals, make sure you to go to HelloFresh.com and use the code BLITZ16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com and use the code BLITZ16 in all caps for 16 meals and 3 surprise gifts. Unfortunately, they don't ship to Mars like we are today in Planet Crafter, but Let's get back into the game. Oh no, our hydration level's low. I might as well just jump on top of this thing and get hydrated. If only it worked like that. No, we have to go dump into the bottom of this and don't mind us. We had a meteor strike last video. So let's drink some water. Don't mind the eggplants in my inventory either. And we have something exciting happening today. You guys told me that there is a cave full of green shiny rocks, tons of iridium so we can get the tier two nuclear reactors. That's my ultimate goal in today's video is to get that. We can also play around with some of the things way back here in the bio lab, <laughs> like explosive power, mutagens, bacteria samples. We could actually make a bacteria sample. I don't know if it does anything, but I want to touch bacteria. So let's do it. Beep. Okay, we got a sample of bacteria. That was fun. Good job, Blitz. I'm proud of you. So we'll shove that back in here. Empty out the inventory a little bit by throwing the trunk in my junk. Other way around, junk in the trunk. Grab some water bottles. I'll take two of those with us. Actually, are the beans ready? They are. We'll take the beans instead and replant them. And just because I feel it necessary, we'll take an extra oxygen capsule. Okay, so we got a long run, I believe. We have to go over my rocket lab through the weird aluminum caves and past the big spiky spires of rocks into this little opening right back here. It's also super dark, but there is one little tiny entrance that we can snake our way through. Oh, there's lava back here. Is that what that is? What is that? Or it's just the sunset. Interesting. And then somewhere deep in here, we have a room full of uranium. It probably makes you taste funny, like like you would probably taste like radioactivity for a long time. But we should be able to build a nuclear reactor out of this mess, so that's good. Ooh, there's also a box of shiny things. Uh, it's not really that exciting. Oh, I think I got everything out of here. That's a good supply. Maybe not enough, but I found another chest with even more in it, so that's good. Oh, shoot! Look what I just found. I didn't realize there's a yellow chest under this bridge. Please give me the cool things my people desire. Okay, uh, I can just drop the silicone and grab, I don't know, that. Oh, rods. We need rods. Uh, 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 iron down. Then a uranium rod. That's good. Uh, da -da -da. what do I do next? I don't know. Maybe I'll just transfer the that thing there and then grab this. Cool. I'll come back for you in the later, I promise. Okay, for my next trick, we are going to build a rocket engine. Yes, please. That was actually free. I didn't realize that was free from our little adventure. And I want to transfer all of this junk over here. Unlock something else from you. What did I get? Oh, the GPS satellite tier two. I don't even care about that. I do care about growing the golden seed though. We'll put that in there. Okay, so I should be able to craft up that iridium satellite now. Uranium. Totally get these mixed up, but that is the right one. We're gonna launch that up into space and it's gonna give me even more green shiny rocks so I can build a better nuclear reactor. 
Good job, little missile. I'm proud of you. Make Go make me proud. Good job. I love you. You gotta tell it nice things when it leaves. Because it might not come back ever. Also, it might bring its friends, which are gigantic meteorites made out of radioactive material. Yeah, there comes one right now. It's gonna crash directly into me. It makes me a little bit terrified, but if I open my mouth, I could catch a snowflake. Actually, that's gonna miss a long way away. Yay, green shiny rocks, I love you. Now the thing about this super duper expensive tier two nuclear reactor, it takes three uranium rods, which isn't really that hard to get. It just takes a lot of uranium, which we don't really have that much. Okay, we do have a lot, Never mind. Come on, open sesame, more uranium, please. Another uranium, please. Oh, I have three uranium rods. Also, I have plenty of leftover uranium, which is good. We might need that to build extra things. You know, on second thought, I might just wanna make another rocket engine and send that up right away too. All right, round number two. <laughs> Unlimited uranium is the best kind of uranium. Now, I did craft up one explosive powder last time. Ooh, the new LG generator is online too. And if I, wow, why does it have to be so windy out here? Oh, wow. <laughs> I love that. So let's make this. A tier two nuclear reactor. Oh, it's chunky. It's a large one. Hot dang is that big. Why'd you go away, Rock? Wow. Okay. Oh, yes, so much power. Now, what do we need to make that one? Oh, bioplastal nuggets. That's actually not too bad. And our power now, <laughs> we have so much power. Okay, cool. So I think the next thing we should do is build tons more of these tier three heaters. We can't unlock the tier four yet because that takes a lot of things that we don't have, which is more oxygen. We're about a fifth of the way there, but it does look like heat is the smallest one. Pressure is almost just as small. So we can get lots of heat by making tons of iridium rods. And now you might remember about our upstairs area here where I've just jam packed full of additional heaters. Good one. Uh, I don't know if these are gonna fit, but we'll jam them in here the best we can. Yeah, they're not gonna fit. That just means we're gonna have to make this weird little cantilever building right like that. And now we can shove extra heaters back in the corner and pretend that they don't exist. Now, I don't think I like my bedroom up here because it's like 10 bajillion degrees. Like we're heating up an entire planet in that one room, but it's working out okay. Ah, oh, beautiful, our eggplants are ready. Let's actually harvest the eggplants. I don't know if I'm gonna plant any more of them. So we are gonna need a couple mushrooms and maybe another squash. And I guess we'll put these other two back in eggplants. Now you might be asking yourself, you're saying to yourself, Blitz, why do you have so many stupid eggplants in your life? And the answer is, I think I can turn them into fertilizer. Yes, I can. We just need a few chunks of sulfur and to grab the algae out of here. LJ, L LJ, how much ever you wanna say it. I don't know, I'm not a rocket surgeon. Do I need, how many more of those do we need? I just wanna build some flower spreaders, my dudes. I also want some of these, cause they seem like a good idea and they do 350 oxygen per second. Oh, beautiful fertilizer, you smell like poop, because you are. Did you like my song I just made up? I think I can do one more. Oh, I don't have any more LG. It's too bad. So now I should be able to just build better flower spreaders here. Should we put our flower spreader right in the middle of our front entryway? Kind of like that idea. We're getting a lot. Oh, this will be the first time we get flowers, not just grass and algae. That's awesome. And let's move another one like right here. Why not? That looks like a nice spot. We should probably go collect all of the uh, uranium that's scattered around the planet too. Oh, biodome tier two. That sounds fun. There's still more over there and I've got a full inventory worth. That was definitely worthwhile sending those uh, satellites up. This place looks weird at night too. Oh my. The biodome tier two generates tree barks. What? How do I build one? Okay, bacteria samples, super alloys, fertilizer. That's actually not that bad. And it doesn't take so much energy, but it does a lot of oxygen. You know, my friends, we might have a slight problem here. This water's coming up a lot in these videos and our base is not far away. Hopefully this whole thing doesn't flood because that would really suck. We'd have to move everything. But the good news is I found a ton more uranium hiding out underwater when I was going to get some of the algae. So that's awesome. And we can just grab out our eggplants out of the closet, which sounds kind of strange. I have one bacterial sample on me now. Let's grab another one. Oh, I need more algae, but I need water. You know what? Let's just make some fertilizer quick. Oh, pecker, I don't have anything. I need a sulfur then. I'll make a fertilizer now. Did I make fertilizer to make something else? Okay, I made fertilizer, good. So I'll grab some more water out of you. I'll create up another bacterial sample. 
Oh, that looks so cool. And now I just need, what? Two super alloys? Thankfully, we have a big old stash of those. Never mind, there's not a big stash. We have a small stash. And then we can place this somewhere, maybe right here. Does that look like a good spot? Can I just place it? Oh, that's a little weird. Hydration level low. Oh no, slap that in my mouth hole. Kind of excited about this one. I've never had trees on Mars before, so that's cool. Okay, we're gonna put that here and I need to rotate it. How do I, how do, I do this? Okay, that looks actually right. And I just need to attach it to that building. Do you get attached to buildings? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you attach? Yeah, is it attached? It's attached. I mean, it's kind of a weird spot, but whatever. We have trees on Mars. Oh, balls. I can't even, can't even put a door there. Oh, that thing looks so awesome. Look at that. We got trees. I really need a bunch of iron and to build up things underneath of it because that looks just strange. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we need a ladder up there too. How to build a ladder? I don't have iron. Get up there. Oh, yes, we have trees on Mars. Oh, what does this do? Biodome 2. I can uh, tree bark. Does it generate tree bark? Can I give it uranium? Mega eggplant, eggplant trees. Huh, that's cool. I like this place. I also have been on this planet for like six years and I still haven't made a bed yet. I think I just recognized something. We have this flower spreader here. I have to open it and put flowers inside of it. <laughs> uh, whoops feel so dumb. There's probably like 74 comments in the last video about that. That's fine. Did I only make two? I don't remember back. That was like 18 minutes ago I recorded that video. I think that's good. Looks nice. Flowers and stuff. Now how fast is our oxygen going up? Parts per billion? No, 4,000 parts per Q per second. Ooh, the lake water collector has been created. That means I think I've unlocked lakes now. Does that mean it's not gonna go any higher than this? I hope so. I hope we just maximum water level right here. Ooh, we're growing moss now. <gasps> we're gonna make the planet green. I'm also kind of excited because I just got enough material to build another ore extractor and putting one of these by our base is gonna be very helpful. So let's put that right there. And now this should drill, and I'm not sure what it's gonna get. I'm guessing iron and the rest of the things. Awesome, the mushrooms are ready too. We'll replant those. Does that mean my beans are also ready? No, that one is. That's good, because I'm kind of getting hungry in the game. Eat the beans. Yeah, we don't want to eat the mushrooms. So those should make me plasteel, or whatever that was called. Yeah, bioplastic nuggets. All right, I kind of want to build another one of these biodomes, so let's get two more fertilizers. Hopefully I have enough stuff. Good, two more fertilizers. I need two bacteria samples. Oh no, and this is interesting too. I don't have any more water or ice on the planet because it's too warm now. Didn't even think that was possible, but the only way we can get water is through this atmospheric condenser. And we have one, beautiful. Okay, can I, we're just gonna store that titanium in there for a half a minute. And then we'll make a bacteria sample. Yep, and one more bacteria samples, nice. That'll clear up a lot of our inventory space. And now all we need is one more sulfur. Please be sulfur in the cabinet. Please be sulfur in the other cabinet, way over here on the other side of the, no, this one? Yes, sulfur. I'm also building up a lot of these uranium rods because I had way too many funds with the last asteroid strikes. So if I could build that one there, I wonder if I can just dump another one off the corner here. Yeah, like such as? You just attach, attach, attach. Oh, that attached. Hey, hot diggity dog, we got another biodome. Almost reminds me of a video game character. What do I do in here? I have tree bark. Thanks, game. <laughs> but I just wanted lots of tree bark and stuff. Actually, I really want the oxygen you produce. Can't even do anything with the tree bark. But the good news is our biomass is increasing quite fast, and the next step is a biomass rocket. I'm not gonna lie, I really should have built that drill outside sooner. You get a lot of good stuff out of a drill. I love it. Those biodomes are by far the most expensive electricity production thing I have, or using, not producting. I need to grab a bunch more sulfur from this area. So I can build some more things. So we'll grab these. I'm wondering if I sneak my way around the edge, if I can find another cave or, you know, another box with treasure in it. Yes, please. Super alloys, that's kind of treasury, right? Yeah, that's good treasure. This place can get really trippy too. Wow, what is going on right now? Why is everything all pink and white and weird looking? Whoa, that was strange. That was a good stash of super alloys, very nice. And a lot of sulfur. All right, there's another thing I wanted to build, which is the shredder machine. I feel like right here's a good spot for it. I don't know what to do with it. Open it, put in uh, 
your okay, and then shred it. What did it do? Did it just <laughs> straight up get rid of it? What? That's stupid. <laughs> I love it. It just straight up just destroys whatever. Why do I want to destroy things? Why why did I put something expensive in it? <laughs> like iridium. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, beautiful rains. Bless my planet, make it green, and give me all the water. I need water. Water. I have plans to prosper, my dudes. We need to build additional nuclear reactors over here. Yeah, yeah, these ones, but I need water. And explosive powder? I think I have explosive powder in my bag over here. I don't. Give me some of this. And one of these. And then I go clickety-clack, boomy boom. Yes, it's working. And then I should have enough. Oh, I just need one more water drink. Come on, I know you're, ooh, a new message. I know you're collecting water, thank you. Ha ha ha, okay. I don't really don't care about you, so I'm just gonna deconstruct you real quick. Oh wow, that water instantly, or the, the grass instantly went away. Okay, there we go, a second nuclear reactor. I'm gonna go ahead and put that little guy back behind here. Where are you, little dude? Yeah, grass spreader. There, you can go play in between these two. Make everything all beautiful and pretty. We have so much power now. It's fantastic. The game's actually lagging because of all of the rain. Look how cool this place looks, though. Except when it's, like, purple. Look at all these free real estate resources we got, too. And then check this out. That drill we built. Look at all the free stuff we got over there. Nice. We have a good surplus of power, 400. <laughs> Yay. And we're very close to unlocking a few other things, too. Got that heat going nicely. What's that take, 63? We're not even close to there yet. Feel like I might need additional biodomes. But I tell you what, my friends, that is gonna do it for today's episode of Planet Crafter. Hope you've enjoyed this one. This game, it, it surprises me how much fun it is. Oh, these things look so cool too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd also like to thank the Patreon and YouTube supporters, especially Alan H, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Beaninator, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippias, Destructo Man, Eagle Lark, Maxer, Spencer T, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M, Ral, Whiskey, Spider Sax, Joe B, Fury Arrow, Doug Rules 2.0, Nerdy Geek, Skunk Chess, The Quarian, Link Hewitt, Bread, and Lewiski.